when we visited Cuss this time, Cuss took us to the gym and pointed to a young boy who was hitting the heavy bag very ferociously and said, that's Mike Tyson. And we said, yes, we, we heard that he was here. He said, yes, not only is he here, but he will undoubtedly go on to become the youngest heavyweight champion in history, even younger than Floyd Patterson, who also was a uh, trained and managed by Customato. Tyson is no doubt one of the best athletes who ever went into the ring, a great puncher. Great upper body movement and a class act to watch when he was in shape. Customado would say, these guys are going to meet in the future. That'd be interesting. Get to the side after the hook on the outside. That's Move quickly after the last punch as you're dead. You can make it perfect. It's good, but it's not perfect. Keep the head down when you come up with the eights. Keep your head down. But at that time, I was saying, I, don't, I hope I don't meet this guy, you know, because he's like an animal. And he said, you want to box? He said, if you um, listen to me, you could be the youngest heavyweight champion in the history of boxing. Oh, what a phenomenon Mike Tyson was. 19-year-old, 20-year-old boy, the youngest man to ever become champ of the world. He hit guys and knocked them unconscious. Not unlike Joe Lewis and George Foreman. And he had hand speed like a Muhammad Ali, and he'd move around. He's going to be remembered for a long time. Long out of the ring with that left hook. Tyson. Oh, long is down. Second time. That style with the hands here and the bobbing and weaving was really old school, but it worked for Mike Tyson because that created enormous leverage, which gave him the, the additional power that made him into the ultimate killing machine. Move your head.
many times I'm sure he recognizes weaknesses in the defense or attack of the others. And all these things register in his mind. And I think all of them contribute, and are using his own judgment also as well, to do the kind of things that he feels will enhance and develop his potential too. Together with what I'm able to advise and suggest, I think that it has become what I believe is a winning combination. that he'll become probably the youngest heavyweight champion of all time, which, uh, which title is held by Floyd Patterson. I believe he will be the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. And if he remains dedicated, interested, and without any distractions, I believe that eventually he will go down in history as the greatest heavyweight champion we've ever had. See, ain't no way he's gonna hit you then, right? And remember, it's always good to throw the punch where you could hit him and he can't hit you. That's what the science of boxing is all about. Counter punch well against Tyson. My goodness. Oh, good night. Michael Jack Johnson flat on the canvas. Look at Michael Jack Johnson. That jaw might be broken. Very well be broken. He took a brutal shot to the face. A fantastic right hand by Mike Tyson. I don't trust anybody in general. I, I don't like people to know me at all. And I just recently trust him because what the same much I trust him, I guess he trusts me. And he trusts me a lot. So but no one really knows Mike Tyson. Nobody's really friendly with Mike Tyson. Who, oh, I? Except Customato. Like, no, you have to put it, you have to get it like, close to your head like that. Uh -huh. And as it goes by, Oh, yeah. Not over though. Then eventually learn how to win. I was fortunate enough to come into contact with this young man who has, in my opinion, all the requirements to be the great champion that I believe he's going to be. Maybe one of the best that ever lived. If he continues as interested as he, as he is now. Well, as we've told you, uh, Tyson has had 10 fights, but very few of them go past the first round. Mickey Hurts to win. That's the motto of. And it gives me the motivation. I will stay alive and I will watch him become a success. Because I will not leave until that happens. And there is Sam down. Three. Having watched him come from where he was to what he is, I can say honestly I have a very deep affection for him. I do. To me, he's my boy. He's with me. And I would look at it as he's my trainer, my manager. He's like my father.
Richardson right through the canvas. The concept behind Mike fighting every two weeks was Customato's. Uh, Mr. D'Amato, uh, in a brilliant fashion. In business, the only thing that counts is the customer. The customer, the man who pays. You must satisfy him. And how do you satisfy him? By giving him an exciting fight. There'll never be another like Cus. Cus was number one. So he cared about the fighter, not the money. The fighter. Uh, there's a lot of guys out there that care about the fighter and the money, but a little more the money than the fighter. But Cus didn't care about money. I've seen him give thousands of dollars away. Uh, right after a fight, sometimes I would fight, and back then I'd get maybe fifteen thousand dollars, and Cus who got a third of that. Uh, a week later, he had nothing. His current trainer, Kevin Rooney, knows the D'Amato philosophy of aggression in the ring. It's just a, a combination of of using his whole body, but really snapping the shoulder, which is what it basically comes down to. But like Custer, you know, the correct way to throw a punch, you snap the shoulder, you turn your toe, so your whole body, you got all your power behind it. But, but let, let me get on to that. Is what most people don't see. They see Mike knock people out, they see him knock people out, so they categorize him as a punch. Power. God given nature, however, whatever you believe in, he's got it. He's a strong individual. But he throws his punches with snap. He snaps his shoulders. He has good form. So the power comes from his whole body. You know, his legs, yes, his legs give him good power. He has big shoulders, but he gets that good snap, and he throws the punch with bad intention, which is an important ingredient. You know, you can have a real good punch, but if you don't throw with no bad intention, you're not going to hurt nobody. But he throws them with bad intention, so it's a combination of all. His body, his mental attitude, and his snap. You can't be around cuss and not learn something. Now, he was around him an awful lot, so he's got a, he's got a taste of cusses principles on on life that's it very good very good michael is a very elusive fighter now cuss always taught you make the guy miss you come right back right back make him miss as soon so if you get a guy that's real good at it michael can be real good at it cuss believes and i believe that it's all in the mind and hopefully the fighter will, will believe it too because when he looks at that tape, I'll see that what he did in that tenth round, he, he could have been doing from the first round. Cus used Jose Torres as a role model. Cus Diamato said, this kid may become the youngest heavyweight champion of the world. Well, the purpose of the slip bag is to get the fighter moving his head, to get him in the habit of moving his head correctly. You have to try to be elusive. See, as long as the fighter's trying to be elusive, he's gonna be all right. Training techniques. Tyson's camp has developed a few tricks of its own. Cuss's style, the way we learned it, you had to practice it over and over, over and over, and, and you never, you always strive to be perfect with the head movements and the punching, and I would be there to tell him that. That's what I emphasize. That's what, that's what, uh, that's what we're trying to, that's what we got over everybody else. When I go to big cities, everybody stop, you know, and it's like, wow, Mike Tyson. You're Mike Tyson, aren't you? Aren't you that young knockout kid? You know, and it's like, wow. You gotta be clever, you gotta be smart, and not get hit. And when you're able to do this, you're a fighter. Oh, hey, if you broke with your steel pimp and drink your smoking, then say, oh, hey, oh, hey, if you're ballin' by your mind. Put your thongs up and party with me 
on the count of three Everybody claim where you're from One, two, three The bottom, that's where I'm from That's where I reside That's what I represent till I die Tuck your chains in, put your drinks down And your sets up and get wild for the night Pitbull, right strike smooth like a Lex truck Mama, you got the next nut Alright Pick a low in the VIP with four fingers in the air Hollering for life I'm the chico that to put it down for his people Get my hands on any and everything But I always keep my hands clean <laughs> Cause my M is full of dirty money and dirty things <laughs> Oh yeah If you broke but you still pimping, drinking, smoking Then say Oh yeah, oh yeah If you ballin' by your bottles Then say Oh yeah, my babe If you're pimping these cats and your ass is fat Then say Oh yeah, my babe If you're willing to fight till you're fucking the night Then say Oh yeah, oh yeah Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, Mommy look good from far, but when she got close, she was far from good And I was like, oof, I got the vodka, cubos, got the cranberry juice Now it's time to get loose Esto aquí es para los marimberos que tienen más cadena que cuello <laughs> Con dinero y una panza que parece que se comieron el lechón entero I see mommy who messes with nothing but big timers Who does to get her roll on, roll on Asking me if I can get my hands on some vitamin E And I was like, mommy, hold on but she must have loved pop cause she was grabbing me Telling me poppy picture me rolling So I pictured it and it would have been a sight for the blind to see So I gave it to her for free <laughs> Oh yeah, if you broke but you're still pimping, drinking, smoking Then say, oh yeah, oh yeah If you're ballin' by your bottles Then say, oh yeah, my babe If you're pimping your shirts and your ass is fat Then say, oh yeah, my babe If you're willing to fight till you're fucking the night Then say, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah it once and I'll say it again, I want all y'all to eat but first me, get it, got it, good, it's good that you got it cause I got no time to be misunderstood, I don't know if it's the liquor that's got me lit but damn, mommy sticker than thick, if you like coke, roll a dollar, snort it up, if you like weed, then you know the routine, roll that shit, like that shit, smoke that shit, puff puff then pass that shit, mommy, mommy, shake your ass, but watch yourself cause, messing with me, you might end up in the movie, literally watching yourself, <laughs> starring you boo, in the hit movie called Amtrak, so true, oh yeah, if you're broke but you're still pimping, drinking, smoking, then say, oh yeah, oh yeah, if you're ballin' by your bottles, then say, oh yeah, my babe, if you're pimping your stats and your ass is fat, then say, oh yeah, my babe, if you're willing to fight till you're fucking the night, then say, More like a gladiator as he entered the ring. He'll be 20 years old on June 30 and eclipse Floyd Patterson as the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. Hey! 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 Here is Mike Tyson! Mike has great skills, but Cuss brought him out. Cuss was an enormously talented uh, trainer and teacher of young boys. He was patient with Mike. In fact, when Mike moved in with him, Cuss adopted Mike and became his legal guardian. Uh, shortly thereafter, when Mike was 14 or 15 years old, when Mike's mother died. The uh, help that Cuss gave Mike was not only in the ring, but out of the ring. And uh, he made Mike a fine human being, as well as a great, great, great fighter. Hey. has an ability to slip punches that has not been seen in the heavy right ranks or almost any other ranks since Muhammad Ali. It's, uh, it's been a long time since Muhammad Ali at his best when he was able to do that. In his later career, he wasn't able to. Hey. 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 Hey.
Well, there's no question that, that just like Muhammad Ali at his peak, uh, Mike Tyson's opponents come in with uh, a great psychological disadvantage. They regard Mike as a very, very special kind of opponent, naturally, which he is. <laughs> Um, this is what he has. He's elusive, and he's a great, great, great boxer. People do not realize it, and that's what makes Mike Tyson so great, and potentially one of the great fighters of all time. Hey. We decided the time was at hand for the marketing of Mike with a technique that had never been used before, simply because video cassettes were never really available to a manager before. I don't believe there's ever been a fighter who has reached this prominence this quickly in the history of boxing. Hey. 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 may become the youngest heavyweight champion of the world. Hey. 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 If there is a way to beat Mike Tyson, how do you do it? Don't want to talk about that one, do you? I don't. 357 Magnum. I'm starting to think. Good I'm starting to think that you're unstoppable. Are you ready right now? I feel I am the best fighter in the world right now. I think he's going to be there a long time. I can't foresee anyone beating Mike Tyson. Not now. He was distracted before he got punched.